Not long ago, on front page, we broke this story. India aims for 7 NM chips in 7 years. Today, that headline just got an upgrade. British chip giant Arm has opened a new design hub in Bengaluru to develop the world's most advanced 2 nanometer chips. The very processors that power AI servers, drones and next generation smartphones. At the launch, IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav called it a big milestone, revealing that ARM will design 2 NM chips right here in India. Only a handful of countries can even attempt this level of chip design. It's actually a signal that the India Semiconductor Mission is now trusted by the biggest names in global semiconductors. Remember our earlier front page episode? From 28 nanometer to 7 nanometer, the leap begins with Tata. Tata's fab in Gujarat is already building 28 nanometer chips with PSMC's help and the government has a 5 to 7 year roadmap to crack 14 nm and 7 nm. Now, even before that 7 nanometer target is reached, India will host 2 nanometer chip design through ARM's new center. Design leadership has arrived ahead of the manufacturing roadmap. We told you then, IBM and IMEC, India's knowledge partners, IBM, which built the world's first 2 nanometer chip in 2021, is already a knowledge partner for India's semiconductor mission. IMEC, the Belgian R&D hub behind TSMC and Intel's breakthroughs is transferring process know-how. ARM's move now locks in the other half of the puzzle, world-class chip design capability inside India. Vaishnav highlighted how the semiconductor mission has scaled very fast. 10 semiconductor projects worth over 1.6 lakh crore rupees are under construction across six states, including two fabs and eight assembly and testing units. CG Semi in Sanand, Gujarat, will roll out the first made in India chips this year. 278 universities already train students on cutting edge EDA tools. 28 chips have been designed by students a proud moment and suppliers of 500 speciality chemicals and 50 gases, the backbone of chip making, are setting up facilities in India. The minister also teased Semiconductor Mission 2.0, a plan to move beyond chips into equipment and materials manufacturing, completing the entire semiconductor stack from design to fabs to the machines that build chips and the materials that feed those machines. In just 11 years, India's electronics industry has grown sixfold to 11.5 lakh crore rupees, with exports up eight times. Arm choosing Bengaluru for two nanometer chip design is more than a corporate expansion. It is a strategic vote of confidence in India's semiconductor ambitions. It means that even as India races to manufacture 7 nanometer chips within 7 years, world class 2 nanometer designs will already be born in Bengaluru, ready to power AI servers, drones and next generation mobile devices. The curious question though, with 2 nanometer chip design now happening in India before the country even manufactures 7 nanometer chips, can this early design leadership catapult India into the global top tier of semiconductor innovation faster than anyone expected? Please do let us know what you think in the comments below. Well. We would really like to thank everyone watching and everyone who will also be watching. Uh, we thank you. 
from the bottom of our hearts for subscribing to AIM Network. We have breached the mark of 200,000 followers and subscribers. We are, of course, only wanting to soar higher and higher. And that's only going to be possible with all of your support, your comments, your inputs, which are only going to drive our content at a much, much brilliant and a much, much better level. So we keep hoping and we keep praying that you're going to keep writing in. And of course, the fact that at the end of the day, we are looking forward to Machine Con, which is going to be taking place at the end of November. Uh, and uh, that, of course, is a huge GCC event, which is exclusively done by AIM Networks. And uh, till we are going to be bringing you the live coverage of that, because that is taking place at the end of November, we, of course, are going to continue with our most in-depth coverage at Front Page. For right now, it's time to say goodbye from Front Page till we meet again from AIM Network, India's definitive media organization on everything AI and technology. Well, it's time to say goodbye and of course, happy Navratri. Thank you.